How's it going everybody? Live Media Channel here and I have another review for you today. This one is the Park Zone Ultra Micro Polecat. I believe it's discontinued unfortunately because it's such a good plane. I, maybe they just weren't selling them that much but this airplane right here is awesome. It is my first ever aerobatic airplane. Uh, it's supposed to be like a pylon racer, but uh, I just use it, you know, just for doing loops and rolls and your just average stunt, you know, stunts, just hammerheads and stuff. Uh, I probably have over, uh, probably almost a hundred flights with this airplane, maybe more. I've had it for just a little over a year, and it's such a fun airplane. Uh, it's just great, <laughs> that's really all I could say. Uh, now, the tail was a little bit weak, uh, unfortunately. The stabilizer here, though, is actually pretty tough. I mean, it hasn't... I just had to put one piece of tape on it, and it's good. Now, before I flew it, though, I put a piece of tape here and here, just in case it would crash and probably stay together better. The... Uh, rudder here though has broken a lot <laughs> uh, there's a big crack on this side here put some tape on it it's cracked all through here I've uh, one time I was just flying a little too low it hit the ground and the whole tail broke off but I mean it took about the longest part of putting this back together was getting the uh, hot glue gun heated up. Once that was heated up, I just glued it back on and it's, it flies great. Now on the ground it doesn't look too good, but in the air it still looks great. The wheel pants are missing. Uh, after my first flight, one of them broke off, so I decided just to take off the other one and not mess with those. They just caused a little too much trouble. Uh, the motor's a little loose right now. Uh, the first time it came loose, I was flying in my, my yard and I hit my shed. Uh, so it's, it's a little loose, just some glue puts that right back together. All I do is, there's like, I believe when you first get it, I don't remember exactly, there's tape here, and on either side of the nose, and the two stickers on the front, you gotta cut those, and top comes right off, and then you can put some glue on the motor. Now what I've been doing is, uh... take hot glue and glue the thing back on, glue the canopy back on, and then I can just cut it right off because tape, the tape started building up too much. I don't want to take the tape off because it'll uh, rip the paint off and I don't want to do that. Now, one problem I've been having with this airplane, and I think the micro, the Ultra Micros always had this problem, is like the wire, something's wrong with the wiring. And when I put the battery in, which I'll do that for you real quick. Now the battery is a uh, 3.7 volt, 150 milliamp, 25C LiPo battery. I use my DX5E. And the battery just Velcros in the bottom here. I mean, it's very convenient, but here, here's the problem I have with it. Hmm, seems to be working right now. There it goes. Yeah, and uh, it's it's weird, and uh, when I do that, it messes with the ailerons and elevator. They start moving around. But, I mean, other than that, this plane's great. Once you get the motor start going, it, it'll keep going, so it's... Uh, it's not really a big deal to me, but here's the throws. I'm uh, trying to get the whole. This is on low rates, it's on high rates, so a little bit. They don't change a whole lot, but you can feel it in the air. I mean, it's insane. All right, there's up elevator. There it is with high rates, low rates, high rates. The rudder. 
low, high, low, high. Uh, one problem I have with this airplane is I love to do knife edges. Uh, knife edges are just a lot of fun. This plane, I, I don't know if it's just mine because the tail is so messed up, but my plane won't do knife edges very well at all. The plane just goes down. Even though I have it angled to go up, it just goes down. So I don't know what the problem is there. But yeah, uh, let's hear the uh, power of this thing. It's got it's got quite a bit of power for. Sweet to the storm. Yeah, it's now right now the motor's loose, so uh, when the motor's not loose, it's a lot quieter than that. But since the motor's loose, it vibrates a lot and uh, makes it's kind of loud. So I'll have to glue that back together. Uh, yeah, I wish I could return it to its normal state. I wish I could buy another one of these because it's such an amazing airplane. Unfortunately, I, you might be able to find them on Amazon, but I know Horizon Hobby doesn't carry them anymore. So, yeah, other than that, though, I mean, this plane is just a lot of fun, and I recommend it to people who have uh, flown an aileron trainer before, because it doesn't have a lot of throw. It, I mean, it's not a 3D airplane by any means. It's just a your average stunt plane. Uh, the Sukhoi, which has been discontinued for longer than this has, it's more of a 3D airplane. It can do the hovering and all that. Unfortunately, I never got that airplane. Uh... But, uh, yeah, I recommend this plane to just almost anyone. If you love ultra micros and you love stunt planes, this is the way to go if you can find it anymore. So it's unfortunate they discontinued it. But, yeah, that's my review of the uh, Park Zone Pool Cat. Thanks for watching.